Hey Oscar Nation, welcome to another video from Just Two Dudes. My name's Louie. My name's Seth. I'm the dad. And I'm the son. Alright, so what we're going to do here is we're going to, uh, spring practices are well underway. It's uh, a couple days. Up. Yeah, uh, it's, it's a couple days till the spring game. And we want to talk, uh, in this video we're going to talk about uh, the offense. And um, alright, so the offense coming in, some of the concerns we had were the offensive line finding some chemistry wide receivers learning how to play wide receiver running pass routes um getting in and out of breaks catching the ball out of breaks yeah getting separation just yeah things wide receivers need to do yes um want to talk a little bit about rex burkhead and um uh well, all the running backs want to talk a little about rex burkhead taylor martinez and cody green and then um we're going to touch a little bit about what we uh, expect out of Roy Halu this yeah. year. Okay, so the offensive line coming in. Uh, last year we were told that uh, Jeremiah Searles and Brent Qualley were, were going to play significant, yeah. significant time on the old line last and year. And then they got hurt. Yep. And the offensive line, for all intents and purposes, underachieved. Uh, you know, now whether, we're hearing from... Whether it was due to injuries or lack of chemistry or whatever bottom line is they still didn't get the job done perhaps coaching and this is the university of nebraska you find a way to get it done that's right uh the offensive line uh we're starting to hear all kinds of things coming out of spring like like uh barney cotton and watson were very uninspired by some of the injuries the guys had uh there's an article just a couple days ago in the paper where they're where they mentioned hey you're in pain for five seconds and you get 30 seconds to rest. Yeah. So if they're saying stuff like that to the media for us fans to hear, that means they were very unimpressed at some of uh, some of the efforts the O-line was yeah. giving as they were injured. Uh, the way I see it, uh, you played offensive line in high school. Yeah. Uh, you don't you don't have the luxury of coming into a game 100% healthy. No. Probably yeah. every offensive lineman in America is is banged that's, up. That's why you time. see every single offensive lineman in college, pro, whatever, knee braces. Yeah. You see them with ankle straps. Massive knee braces. Right. Yeah. Sometimes you even see the protective shoulder sleeves. Yeah. Okay. I mean, so. Uh, it's yeah. impossible. The like offensive line, somebody's got to step up at wide receiver. Yeah. Uh, we both hope it's Brandon Kinney. Well, outside of Niles Paul, because he's obviously... Well, he better. Well, N Niles Paul is really the only threat we have as far as the receiver position. And sometimes he, his biggest threat is either running it on a reverse, getting a kick return or a punt return, or catching a ball on a double move or a fly route. Okay, now now Zach Lee is of course out for spring ball, right? And so somebody needs to step up. Cody Sparmo is nicked up again, again. Uh, he every it's it's nothing season ending this time, but still, it's just one of those things where it's just like, how can a kid just stay mentally tough enough right. to be able to play quarterback at this level when he's getting banged up? All the time. I think it sucks for him because Bo always said he's a good quarterback. Yeah. Yeah, I don't. I think it sucks for him that he's never going to get the fair chance because Co of injuries. Cody Green. A lot of people think he needs to step up and, and emerge this year as the solid number two backup. Yeah. Uh, I don't see outside of injuries. I don't see him ever winning the starting job here at yeah. Nebraska, even next year. The name we continue to hear through spring pack practice is Taylor Mark. Uh, Taylor Martinez, how fast he is, what good things he's doing in the Wildcat, um, things like that. Well, they haven't ran Wildcat. They haven't ran it in practice at all. It's just like the old Vince Young read plays. Okay. And he's just shown tremendous running ability all throughout spring ball. And that's leading us to think that he's probably going to see some snaps from the Wildcat. Yeah, because they they'll find a way to get him some game action. Um, okay, so Taylor Martinez is a name we keep hearing a lot about. Don Travis Robinson has packed on twenty pounds, they say, and hasn't lost a step. 
I've heard this before, I've heard it too many times, it, it never works out. You're either Jerome Bettis, uh, Lindell White. My you're, boss thought. Yeah, you're either like that or you're not. You don't, you don't become Jerome Bettis. You're either a big kid who's been big since the first time you toted the rock in junior high school or high school. I'm not sold on people that put 20 pounds of muscle on to become the thunder in the old thunder and lightning set. Um, the lightning, of course, being uh, Roy Halu Jr. Oh, man. And uh, Rex, I like everything I've seen out of Rex. Yeah. Rex just, whatever it is, he Rex seems it. to have it. Yeah, he, he really does. He makes so many plays that it's just like timely, gritty, and heart plays. Yeah. Like the, uh, the Missouri game. He converted a third and six off a swing route, and basically it was a broken play. And yeah, I don't think anybody he, else he on the like, roster is going to make that play at it, that time. Exactly, that's what I'm getting at. And he made that play three plays later, hit Niles Paul on that deep post, and then, of course, we all know what happened after yeah. that. But it's just that was, to me, it wasn't the Niles Paul catcher, one of the picks we got that game. It was Rex Burkhead converting that third down. Because he was one of the few players last year that every single time he got the ball, you saw maximum effort, heart, and determination to just get it done. And that's why I really like Rex Burkett. But he is not Roy Hallou. No, I truly believe Roy Hallou. You have to go back to Lawrence Phillips to find a, a running back here at Nebraska that uh, is as good as Roy Hallou. I think when it's all said and done, he's gonna be he's gonna be top five, six, seven uh, Husker running backs of all time. Uh, we're starting Staying to hear healthy is really yeah. Is, we're we're yeah. starting to hear a little bit about uh, uh, his desire for the home run last year instead of just taking the five to eight yard runs. He's what, pressing a little bit. Wouldn't you say that has a lot to do with him just being desperate last year, trying to make the big play for the offense? He, he knew he was one of a, just a couple playmakers we had, so absolutely he was yeah. probably looking for the long run every time he could because, you know, the offense was so desperate for – for the big play, so so this year, what are, what are they? What uh, coach Tim Beck, the running backs coach, uh, said they were working on. Uh, they were working on a cut and go style yeah. of running, which the cut and go style of running is just. It, it's not. It, it's basically not being as patient as Plant you the used foot. to be. Just plan it and go. Yeah. It, get it, it, If you're not gonna get the twenty yard run, well, take the four. Yeah. Take the five. You know, or it helps. I'm not it's saying like he's Adrian. Three. I'm not saying he's Adrian Peterson or Terrell Davis, the the Denver Broncos great running back. But uh, both of those guys had the ability. Uh, well, AD has it now uh, to you know kind of glide down the line, and when they see the hole, yeah, they're gone. I mean, yeah. they're 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 gone. But that's that's instinctual for those guys. So hopefully, Roy. I believe Roy's got a little bit of that in him, but he's going to have to develop it. Okay. Uh, we got time right now for maybe one other thing, if you want to touch on it um, offensively. I, I just want to say that you know I agree with Cody Green. I know Cody Green's a really hot topic, mm -hmm. um, as he should be. You know, big four-star recruit. Zach Lee's out. He's the only other quarterback. You know, it's all right. I understand it, but I think. I don't think he will ever be a starting quarterback material here at the University of Nebraska. I think he has all the physical ability. I just think mentally he just won't ever have it. And but if, and if we hope he, to be wrong, yeah, we got seriously. nothing against Cody Green. Yeah, I I, uh, I love Cody Green. Yeah, he's got as, all the tools. Yeah, but he just needs to get mentally sharp, and I don't know if that's gonna happen. All right, I'm so, just saying if, yeah. if it. So if he is going to, it has to be now. Right. Okay, so this is part one uh, of our of our spring, spring videos. And uh, we're going to go ahead and let you go now. And uh, we're going to uh, get another video going on the defense. See you next time, guys.